Hello Christian, I know it's late, but I'm still posting a video. It's still Thursday. This still counts. Um, in reply to your last video, first of all, yes, I have seen those Venet Diaries up until the very most recent. Um, I, like you, am definitely caught up in the story, and having read Pride and Prejudice over and over and over again, I think they are doing a fantastic job with it. I'm really, really excited uh, to see what happens next. It's definitely one of my favorite adaptations. Um, you asked about movie adaptations as well, so I'm just going to skip right to that. Um, I really liked The Perks of Being a Wallflower. I really liked the book, but this is one of the few times in my entire life that I will say this, but I actually enjoyed the movie better. <laughs> don't, don't yell at me, but I think in the book, because you were stuck in Charlie's mind, it was very difficult to see things from any perspective but his, and the movie definitely did a good job portraying Charlie's perspective, but it also gave you a little insight on Charlie, how he acts habitually, how, you know, his, his facial expressions show his emotion, where in the books you only get his emotion if he says it. I just thought it was a fantastic movie adaptation. On that note, I'm also really, really hoping that the Vault in Our Stars movie, which I don't know when it's going to come out, but I've heard whisperings about it. I'm really, really hoping that it is very good. And if they mess it up, that will be the end of the world. I will be so mad. So, so mad. Um, you talked a little bit about school and sort of the limitations of being a nerd or a geek. And first of all, I don't mind being called a nerd or a geek. I'm the first one to admit, you know, if something I say or do seems nerdy or I am a nerd, honestly. I'm not, I'm not ashamed of it at all. Um, but I do think that the limitations that come with li being labeled as a nerd or a jock or a geek, or any of those things, I think they're really, really strict, and people forget that you can be more than one thing. You can fall into more than one category. Um, there are people who, you know, are in drama club and do sports. There are people who, you know, do cheerleading, and they are in National Honor Society you forget that people can fall into so many different categories. Um, there are people in my school's band who do everything from chess club to filmmaking to every sort of art you could imagine, but they also do things like engineering and sciences and math and sports. And you forget that we give people such such limitations when we call them the names that we call them, even in their, even in our heads. I'm not saying that everyone labels everyone, but you do it subconsciously. Just, you know, I'll be the first to admit, I don't exactly think of myself as a particularly anything. I fall into so many different categories and I do different things, and that's okay with me. I don't think that's a bad thing at all. Um... You asked for my favorite three movies. I have a lot of favorite movies. You're going to judge. I know you are. That's okay. Um, one of my favorite movies would definitely have to be Mulan because I just, I love that movie so much. Just some of my favorites when I was younger and I really, really like that movie just so much. There, there are no words. It's just awesomeness. I also enjoy The Princess Bride, um, and as I said, Perks of Being a Wallflower is definitely one of my favorites. I do like others, definitely. Um, I like a lot of Disney movies, to be honest. I really enjoyed Up. I wasn't sure if I would, and I did. I really did. I also liked Brave, which came out recently. Um, I watch a lot of Disney movies because I have younger siblings, but honestly, Disney movies are for everyone. I really enjoy them, and Pixar, you know same category. Alright, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you're doing well in all of that. 
we have vacation next week, so I'll be sure to tell you of all my exciting or not so exciting endeavors. They're giving us so much homework, it's not fair. Um, but I'm going to in turn request your top favorite movies as well as your opinion on the fandom. I'm not going to give you any any details on what I'm thinking you want to interpret fandom as. I'm just saying, what do you think? Um, I will see you on Sunday.